just getting right into it, y'all. You know, I don't want to prolong the night. Y'all know I like to come on and just do something really quick and just inspire us. But this week is probably going to be a little different because, you know, it's some things that I just want to get off my chest. It's some things that I feel just need to be said. And, um, you know, truth be told, just like when you go to church and, and the preacher never met you, you come into the church and it sounds like he direct, he, he's talking and directing his message right to you. If this message feel like it's coming to you, it's because you need to hear it. So don't take it personal. Don't unfollow me. Don't unfriend me. Don't, don't, don't unsubscribe because I'm going to be unapologetic about being shown. It's my job to give motivation. It's my job to encourage y'all. But more important, it's my job to tell y'all the realities of what it's going to take to be a high level mover. It's my job to give y'all the reality of what it's going to take to go from where you're at to becoming the person that you want to be. So some of y'all need to lock in, listen to this message, and if it hit home, take it that way. Take it with love. Don't take it personal. Matter of fact, do take it personal, but take it with love. Like, look, I got a little spanking, but I needed to hear this. And this is, you know, I sit and I look at this world that we're living in, y'all. And right now, this world is upside down. We speak about it from time to time. Never in my life did I think I'd live to see the unemployment rate where it is. People not of, um, able to, to pay their bills, not able to pay rent. People standing in line for hours and hours at a time waiting on food bank lines to get groceries because they can't afford to feed their families. People, these are hardworking citizens of the USA, want nothing more but to work, but the work is not out there. I never thought I'd live to see this day, and this is just a reality of the world that we are living in. But let me tell y'all, the one place that is hiring, no matter what, it don't matter what's going on with us regular civilians. Uncle Sam is hiring. Right now, if you wanted to sign up, there is a check waiting for you with Uncle Sam. Because Uncle Sam understands one thing, and he really does understand this. That in times of peace, you prepare for war. At any given time, he is looking for new recruits, new soldiers, new people to sign up because... He wants to make sure that if war ever broke out, I got soldiers ready to go. They're battle tested. And in order to become a soldier, you don't just walk in and sign some paperwork and you're automatically a soldier. No, you got to go through a process. You got to go through a 10 to 16 week boot camp to prepare you to become this soldier to prepare you to become that iron chiseled, ready for war, battle tested, battle ready soldier. That program was designed with one thing in mind, just it. We want to turn average, everyday, ordinary citizens into soldiers, period. Soldiers know this journey ain't going to be easy. Soldiers know war can break out anytime and I'm going to be deployed. Soldiers know I got to keep my mouth shut. I got to learn the ropes. I got to take orders before I can give orders. Soldiers know that. But here's what I've come to learn. Too many of y'all, you're wearing the uniform, but you ain't no soldier. You have gone out there and you have bought into these classes. You have taken a couple of these courses. You have bought yourself this entrepreneur CEO starter kit and you're wearing that uniform, but you ain't a soldier because being a soldier, it comes with expectations. It comes with certain objectives. It comes with a certain mindset that we have to have if we're going to become successful entrepreneurs, if we're going to become successful businessmen. A soldier knows from day one, my first objective is survival, period. It ain't 
to win a war. It ain't to go into battle and become Rambo. It's to survive because if you can survive and stay alive, you can live to fight another day. And I watch and I speak to so many of you guys and you're out there and you're buying these courses and you're doing all of this extra stuff that don't need to be done. And you're putting all of your money into areas of the business that you should wait. Instead of learning the business, you're going out there and pretending to play business. And you're not setting yourself up to survive another day. We're looking at legacy companies. I'm driving down the street the other day and I see Macy's, another Macy's store go out of, uh, out of business. Sears, it is an American institution out of business. Neiman Marcus, Lord and Taylor, all of these stores going out of business and they've done it on the highest level. How can you expect to get to that level if you're playing and you're not setting yourself up to survive and make it through these hard times? Because this is what's going to groom you so that when the day comes that everything is flourishing, you can scale, but everybody is trying to scale their business far too early before they even have dedicated customers, before they even have people that are coming back again and again to support their brand. We got to watch what we're doing out there, y'all, because a soldier knows my objective is to stay alive. It is to survive, to fight another day. That is the number one objective. A soldier also knows, they also know from day one that they are going to be doubted and they are going to be questioned. That is the name of the game. And we look at people like Will Smith. Will Smith, as big as he is on this very day, everybody knows this man, multimillionaire, probably got a hundred million in the bank today, liquid. But back in 89, he started out as a rapper. This was a man like, and I ask y'all this because you are going to be doubted. You are going to be tested. Will Smith won the first ever Grammy in rap music. First ever. Do you think real rap fans was happy with Will Smith winning the first ever Grammy in hip hop? In, in 89, it was people like LL Cool J, people like Kumo D, uh, Rakim the God. There were real artists out there that was putting out real hip hop music. And they decided to give him the first Grammy. But Will Smith stayed true to who he was. He knew he was questioned. He knew he was doubted. But he stayed true to who he was as an artist and went on to do Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He went on to be the number one box office movie star on the planet. Can you stay true to who you are when you are questioned? When you're doubted, when people are looking at you and they are asking, are you deserving to sit at the head of that table? Can you do it? Because far too often I'm sitting and I'm listening to y'all's comments and people are sitting there and they're saying, I don't know if I can do this because I don't get the, su the support and the respect from the people who I thought I was going to get it from. Will Smith didn't get support and respect from the rap community, but he kept doing his thing. And I'm telling y'all to keep doing yours. You're not going to get that support out the gate. But if you stay true to who you are, I guarantee people are going to come in and they're going to support you after a while. Soldiers know this, guys. And I need y'all to step up and be the movers and the soldiers I know that y'all are going to be. Another thing that any soldier knows, you got to follow before you leave. And I'm watching so many people talking and they're pretending and they are walking the walk, talking the talk. They're acting like a CEO. They are doing the whole method acting thing. Like they're moving around and they're in character all day, every day. But truth of the matter is they skipped the piece. They skipped it. You got to follow before.
before you lead, as a soldier, you know, before you can ever think to put that stamp on your arm, before you can ever think to have somebody salute you as a lieutenant, as a colonel, as anything, uh, an officer, you first have got to have been in the, in, in the grind. You first have to have been in, in, in the ditch, in the ditches. And too often, because it's become so easy, because there are people out there and they're selling you on the fact that you can do it. And yes, you can, but you have to first follow before you lead. You can't just wake up one day and think I'm going to be a CEO and you was never an assistant. You can't think I'm gonna be CEO and you was never a coordinator, a manager, a director, a VP, this thing takes time and it only comes once you have learned and have risen through the ranks. This is what it is, y'all. And too often people are, they're losing their business before they ever get started because they thought of a great idea and they went out there and, you know, it was just too easy. I can go and I can get a business card and put CEO on it. I can get a website and write a bio, take a few headshots, and tell everybody I'm in business. It doesn't work like that, y'all. It just doesn't. You gotta start from the ground up because you're going to be tested, y'all. You're absolutely going to be tested. I look and I speak to y'all, especially on Wednesday nights, and this is more personal. I know this is gonna go out there to the world, but this is to my mover community. I gotta tell y'all, if you ever go into battle, and I've never been, I've never been a soldier, but I got to believe one of the first things they have to get over is fear. They have to get over that fear because when the bullets start flying, when it's chaotic, when there's all kinds of things going on, you got to keep a level head. You have to make sure that you are in position to stay alive to do the things that need to be done to carry out your objectives so that you can win the war and get back home safely in one piece. But I talk to y'all because on Wednesday nights, I ask y'all, come with questions. Be willing to get on that live. Step up, hit the request button because you don't know that you, the question you have, it might benefit somebody else who's watching. It might benefit somebody else who doesn't, who's not in the live, but they watch the replay. But people, they're good for being in the chat. They're good for, and, and I love the fact that in our community, everybody's helping each other. Everybody is willing to support one another. But if you really want to support yourself, you got to get over your own fear. I understand Public speaking is difficult. They say outside of death, that is the number one fear that most people have. But how in the world can you think you're going to sit at the head of a table one day and speak to a staff, speak to a team, present, and you can't even jump on a live and ask a question? It just don't work like that, y'all. And it's time that y'all understand it ain't no more pretending with this thing. It ain't no more going out there and getting this CEO or entrepreneur, you know, quick fix pack that people are selling and all of a sudden you are that person. No, it comes with a grind. It comes with time. It comes with overcoming fears. It comes with overcoming doubts. And I need y'all to really focus on freeing your mind up and getting yourself in a position that no matter what comes to you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because my goals demand it. This thing is life or death. Have you got to a point where you started to look at it like life or death for real? Get rich or die trying. I am willing to literally get rich or die trying. Have you got there? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to sacrifice for your goals? We look at people, 
All of y'all know my idol, Muhammad Ali. This guy changed the world being a boxer. But long before he ever won the Thriller in Manila, long before he ever won the Rumble in the Jungle, this guy was stripped. He was world champion and stripped of his belt, threatened by the U.S. government to be locked up for five years in his prime. As a boxer, you don't have five years in your prime. Threatened. But that made him battle tested. He was willing to give it all up because there was something greater he was fighting for. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to put on the line? Because this thing here, it is real, y'all. I look at MLK. And long before MLK ever stood on the stair steps of the Lincoln Memorial and gave that I have a dream speech, do you have any idea how many times this man was spit on? How many times this man was called nigger? How many times this man was shackled, thrown in jail, water holes, belittled? But by the time he got to that stage, he was battle tested. And that's what I want y'all to be. This is, you can't skip the line. And I'm seeing week after week, everybody is failing. People are asking questions that they would know if they didn't try to skip that line. It's okay to start from the bottom. Your man Drake said it. I started from the bottom and I'm here. By the time he got to be who he is, he can appreciate it and respect it on a different level because he did start from the bottom and he did grind and he did take the people telling him he's not a real rapper. You sing half the time. You're this, you're that. You're not hard enough. You got ghost writers. But I bet you, there ain't a rapper out there or very few of them who wouldn't trade his bank account for theirs. But he started from the bottom and now he can appreciate being on the top. Stop trying to cut the line, y'all. We movers. We get our hands dirty. We put our hands in the dirt. We are soldiers. And if we are going to go out there and win this war, if we are going out, going to go out there and step into the battle, we got to be prepared to be battle tested. And I'm asking y'all this evening, are you battle tested? Because that's the only way you're going to survive y'all. And I wish I can come here and tell y'all, like I'm watching other people sell these courses and it drives me crazy. I'm watching other people go, 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 get up early, go to sleep late. All of this crap. Yes, some of it's true. But the question is, have you ever done it? You're selling people on it, but have you ever done it? And when I'm coming here and I'm giving y'all this information for free and I'm trying my best to create a community of movers, create a, a community of solid individuals who want nothing more to win. And when they do win, they'll remember there was a Sean Prez who gave to them and they'll reach back and give to the next generation. I'm telling y'all from experience. Y'all know my story. You know my life. I did it. But these other folks, they're pushing people and they haven't done it. Let's wisen up, y'all. I wish I could tell you, give me a certain amount of money and I'm just going to tell you how to do it and it's a quick fix. Overnight, you're going to be rich. Overnight, you're going to achieve your, your dreams. Overnight, you're going to be successful. But it don't work like that. It don't. This thing is hard. This thing right here, you are going to be tested. And you got to be ready for the battle. You got to be battle tested, y'all. And I need to have gotten this off my chest. Because I get out of my lives some week and I'm disgusted. And I'm like, look, I want y'all to win. I want us to win. But if y'all are not ready to overcome your fears, if y'all are not ready to step up, if y'all are not ready to put yourself on that screen, ask the questions, 
do what needs to be done. You're not going to make it to the promised land. You're not. And I don't care how many courses you take. I don't care how much education you have. I don't care how many motivation, motivational speeches you listen to. You got to be willing to get in there and do the hard work. So take this with love. Take it with respect. Take it with appreciation. But I am telling y'all something that you need to hear and you need to know. If you are going to become a successful mover, you got to be ready to move and you got to be battle tested. So I end it there, y'all. You know, real talk, I hope y'all took my message with love. I pray y'all took this message the way it was meant. And it is only meant to make everybody in this live better. Let's continue to support one another. Let's continue to be truthful with one another because not being truthful with one another don't help each other. Wednesday night, 7 p.m., come with questions, come with ideas, come looking to participate and not just hide behind a screen. Anybody can do that. Support that new Fat Man Scoop video that was just put out, Incredible Gems. And if you want, you know, uh, what is it? You can go to iTunes, you can go to Spotify, or you can go to YouTube and watch that video, that interview in its full form. Peace and love, y'all. Like, let's keep supporting each other. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm sad I even had to come like this this week, but it is what it is. This is, this is love. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all next week. I mean, I'll see y'all on Wednesday, 7 p.m. And we're ended here. Movers, move. Movers, move. Movers, move. Now get to moving. One love, y'all.